Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. A few weeks ago, I went to my first concert since COVID hit. I've had a strange and unfamiliar disconnect from music since the pandemic began. Making music with my friends, going to weekly shows, helped me keep connected to something that I love. When that change happened in March 2020, I lost something. Something that I've kind of been adrift without. That's one of the reasons I started this YouTube channel, started making music videos, to force myself to be creative to find a new outlet. When my wife and I saw that Jens Lechman was touring again and making a stop in Philly, we both agreed that it was something that we couldn't miss out on. Jens is a Swedish indie musician. I probably started listening to him maybe 15, 16 years ago when I got my hands on a compilation record of his called Oh, You're So Silent, Jens. My brother actually showed it to me a year or so earlier, but I just didn't get it the first time I heard it. But somehow the second time around, something clicked. I became obsessed with Jens's music and his first three records. I listened to them nonstop for maybe a year. Jens's music is full of beautiful textures, catchy melodies, lo-fi and found sounds, obscure samples, and goofy and sentimental lyrics. Sentimental may be a bad word to some people, but Jens's music meant so much to me and my bandmate that we actually thanked Jens in the liner notes for our first record. In fact, my bandmate actually emailed Jens and sent him our record on MySpace. He tried to get us a gig opening for Jens and told him how much his music meant to us. Bill, my bandmate, wrote to Jens back in March 2009, and I quote, Hello, Jens. My friend Mark and I have a musical project called Eat Your Birthday Cake. Our MySpace link is included. Just wanted to describe to you the influence you have on our music. Not necessarily the sounds, but the approach to writing. Attempting to balance on that wire that you do so well. Between silly and serious, vindictive and endearing, naked and full in regards to arrangements, simple and profound in regards to lyrics. I used to write songs that were all serious all the time. But listening to your records brought me to the epiphany that life is not that way. So why should music be? Thanks for inspiring. Jens is the kind of musician who will respond to messages like that and sit out at the merch table to meet all his fans, even if you're not brave enough to talk to him. So back in April, when I was going through some old records, I discovered that my digital copies of Jens' first three records were actually missing from my phone. Apparently, I updated my phone and didn't properly back things up. The next few hours were nerve-wracking when I discovered that two of these releases were no longer available. You couldn't stream them or buy them anywhere. One used uncleared samples, so other people's music without permission, and the other was pulled down by Jens, both out of production forever. I scoured my CD collection in the attic, old iPods, external hard drives, computers that were long dead, CD booklets of burnt CDs. I was heartbroken when I couldn't find them. This huge pivotal piece of my life, the soundtrack to my early 20s, was just gone. It was like losing a friend and not even having a picture to remember them by. Of course, because I'm relentless and kind of insane, I found a way to access an old hard drive somehow buried on a partition from a computer that had been dead for years and probably sitting in the bottom of a junkyard. Buried on this computer in this partition, I found these old MP3 rips, probably from 2007 from an old college roommate. This immense feeling of gratitude was probably one of the highlights for 2022 for me. I was so excited that I started texting my wife in all caps. So while I was at this Jens show a few weeks later, I realized that everyone in the room was sort of privy to something special. Something special that didn't really exist anymore. Something ephemeral, like a shooting star or an eclipse. Of course, if you're motivated or you're scouring an old hard drive or eBay, you might be able to find these records. But I started to think about how the next generation might never experience this, might never get to hear Jens's music like I have. These days, we have the whole world at our fingertips. 
You can watch any movie and listen to any song on your phone anytime you want, for as many times as you like. But these early records are only in the hands of Jens' listeners now. Maybe they're sitting on a hard drive, maybe somebody will preserve them, or maybe they'll just sit in someone's garage and end up in a dumpster one day. This made me think of a character from one of Jens' early songs, Rocky Dennis. He's borrowed from the 1985 film Mask. Supposedly early in his career, a DJ mixed up Jens' name with this character, and to clear it all up, Jens actually killed him off in a song. I don't know Jens personally, but goodbyes and a lifespan actually kind of seem important to him. Anyways, the lyric is from Rocky Dennis's farewell song, Someday I'll be stuffed in some museum, scaring little kids with the inscription Carpe Diem, something I never did. I suppose he's writing from the character's perspective here, but memory and legacy have always seemed really important to Jens. And maybe he didn't mind these records disappearing because he didn't want to be defined by his earlier work and he wanted to continually make and love music. So this week I tried to tackle one of Jens's songs Black Cab. It's about getting in a car with an illegal taxi cab driver before Uber. In Sweden, they called them black cabs.
So after the show, I realized that Jens actually just re-released these records. Some have new lyrics, new arrangements, and new accompaniments. No offending illegal samples. As a songwriter, I can say that my own pieces have changed over time. My understanding and the meaning that they have to me has changed and grown. Maybe to stay in love with music and stay connected with it, you have to find new ways of performing the same old songs. That's what Jens is doing here. Our perspectives and outlooks change over time, and maybe music should grow along with it. Anyways, please check out Jens's two newest releases. The cherry trees are still in blossom, and the linden trees are still in blossom. Both are references to his earliest music. They're both awesome. Bye now.